Hey, you good Fox here. Today I got a review on Levante David's 84 core elite card. 80 speed at 6 foot 1. Right outside linebacker with 84 tackling, 84 play rec. Tackling is important this year as we see a lot of slip tackles. Uh, block shed's only 70, so he's got cornerback block shed, uh, which is which is pretty terrible. We're going to show him a lot in coverage today, though. Uh, power, uh, hit power 84, finesse move, power move. He's not going to rush a passer. He's a pure 4 3 linebacker. Now, it's important that a 4 3 linebacker is able to pursue the ball, pursuits at 84, and that's kind of what, you know, you want him to run around blocks, not so much through them. And and really his power move, actually, we're going to see that in a little bit, a little clip a little later of him uh, actually showing off that, that low power move, low finesse move. But overall, this card, it actually played pretty decently for me in coverage. You know, I don't have too many complaints about it right in that, you know, 80 speed is. Really kind of on the low end of what you want, but it seems like he's keeping up with a lot of routes. There he's kind of cross man against the player there and across the shoulder. He did get burned there. That's a tight end, but um, that'll happen. I mean, that's kind of his weakness. You can't expect this uh, card to have it all or really, I mean, he's missing a lot in what's what's the word in uh, functionality for much of what you want your linebackers to do, uh, except for, you know, pursuit and finding the ball carry. Sometimes using 80 speed, it's not the greatest user. But it's serviceable if you need to, your middle linebacker to do something else. Like if you have Shaz there, if you need him to go on a blitz one play, you can take care of David. I didn't, I didn't mind uh, when I had to use him. Nice interaction there. So he will recognize players going through his zone. His man coverage, eh, not bad. Made the guy hear footsteps there. Man coverage at uh, 73 is is okay for a linebacker. Catching 77, solid. He's not going to do anything like in traffic with 37 catch in traffic, 37 spec catch. Overall, though, like. He made an okay amount of plays, but it, I wouldn't say Levante David like stood out as a stud of my defense. Like, uh, like the the gold standard for linebackers for me is still Jack Ham, his Mutt 15 card. Nowhere near that. Like, nowhere near that at all. Um, but even against uh, runs, you know, the the block should kind of hurt getting uh, picked up there by linemen. He will stay stuck to him. But if if you have like defensive linemen with high block shit, they can kind of. Uh, take up a couple blocks, let him just kind of pursue the ball carry and whatnot, then Levante David can really do his job as the 3-4 outside linebacker and, and, and a coverage drop linebacker. So I'm going to get into his zone and stay. But overall, like, this Levante David card isn't anything spectacular, but, you know, defenses need non-spectacular players. Now, I guess this gets to the whole larger larger point of should you go 4-3 three, or 3-4? This card should not be anywhere near a 3-4 alignment. Um, he, he cannot rush the passer very well. He cannot uh, block shed very well. He can't do anything you want like a, a, of a, a contained player. All he can do is read ball carrier, pursue to it, and, and uh, sweep up a tackle on it. Otherwise, you know, slow like that, getting burned man coverage. So overall, as we watch Levante David on a pass rush move, when I said he shouldn't play 3-4, there he's getting a block shed or a power move through to get the sack or sort of sack. Out of 10, if you're a 4-3, I'd give this card like a 7.8. If you're a 3-4, it's like a 4. Thanks for watching Call to Action. I'll see you tomorrow.